Hi, this is Jeff Spence, your Math 135 instructor for the, for the Community College of Denver. And we're doing, we're finishing up 3.2, uh, Measures of Spread and Variability. The point of this video is to give you an example on how to use those complicated formulas for the standard deviation that we saw in the last PowerPoint. Um, the, the formula that we're typically going to use is, is going to be the sample standard deviation because the sample standard, we're generally generating samples. We usually don't have a census, so we're not going to follow the population standard deviation formula. So we'll just look at this sample standard deviation formula that you see at the top. It looks really complicated. We have a sum of squared deviations. Remember, the deviations are the difference from the mean. So we take the deviations, we square them, we add them up, we divide by n minus 1, and then we take the square root. So what I did was I took the data set from the last PowerPoint, the heights of uh, one of the volleyball teams, and I labeled them x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5 for their five heights. The first thing you have to do when computing a standard deviation is compute the mean. I have that here, x bar equals 69. I did that off to the side so I can take each of the heights and find their deviation. So to find their deviation, you take each of the heights and subtract it from the mean. Well, if you do 60 minus 69, you get negative 9. If you do 70 minus 69, you get 1. And the deviation for 70 again is 1. The deviation for the last 70 is 1. And then finally, the deviation for, for the last height, 75, is going to be 6. Now, once again, notice, if you add up all these deviations in this column, they sum up to be 0. Negative 9 plus positive 9 here, the 6 plus 1 plus 1 is positive 9, they always add up to 0. So this sum of deviations isn't helping us give us, or isn't, or isn't giving us a good measure of spread. So what we have to do is square the deviations so that they don't cancel each other out. So for the third column here, we start, uh, we start squaring all the deviations. So you take all these numbers in the deviation column and square them. So negative 9 squared is 81. 1 squared is 1. 1 squared again is 1. 1 squared again is 1. And 6 squared is 36. So once we have all the squared deviations, now we're down to the part where we take the sum. So we're in the top of the numerator here where we take the sum of all the squared deviations. So I have to add up 81 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 36. So essentially that's 84 plus 36, and we get a sum of 120. So all I had to do was add the third column, add them all up, and that's the sum of the squared deviations, the numerator. Next step, we're supposed to take that sum of squared deviations and divide it by n minus 1. So I know the sum was 120, I got that from the last step, and I need to divide by n minus 1. Well, we had five data points, so n is 5, so 5 minus 1 is 4. I'm taking 120 and dividing it by 4. That gives me 30. So I have, I have the number inside the square root. Lastly, I need to take the square root of, what, of this process here, where we took the sum of the square deviations divided by n minus 1. So essentially, we just have to do the last step, take the square root of 30, and that gives us, to two digits, 5.48. So essentially we can say that the average distance from the mean for all these data values is 5.48. So remember the steps. You start with the mean. You take each of the heights. You find their deviation, which means you subtract it from the mean. The next step is to square all the deviations. So negative 9 squared is 81, and so on. You sum up all the squared deviations. So you just add up that column and get a total. Take that total, which was 120, and divide it by n minus 1. n was 5 in this case because we had 5 data points, so that's why I'm dividing by 4. 120 divided by 4 gave us 30. The last step is the square root, and you get 5.48. Now remember, before we take the square root, this number 30 is actually the variance. It's technically a measure of spread. We won't use it much, but the variance is just that step before you square root back. Because remember, we had to square all the deviations so that they wouldn't cancel. So that's what the variance is about, but we're more concerned with the standard deviation of 5.48.